Okay, it's a full QC audit for 26645 T-Mobile building. Um, so we got concrete, curb, striping, wheel stops, asphalt out here. Um, the, the curb was done the 5.3 through 5.6. Uh, the concrete was done on 5.4 by Max Crew. The asphalt was done on 5.6 by Max Crew. Uh, the curb was done by Chad Taylor's crew. And then striping by Trevor on 5.8. <clears throat> so, um, starting at the curbing. It looks pretty good. We got, for the most part, we got some cracking around the corners that are happening already. The shape and consistency is pretty decent. It's a little wobbly on this corner, but a lot of the straights look really good. Corners are pretty nice. Um, we need some resto and some cleanup out here. I know it was raining when the curb crew was out doing this section here, this next section. And then some of our joints where we jointed, I don't know if this mix was just really wet or what, but it's kind of compressed down at the joints. This section looks real nice as far as consistency through here. Curb brakes are a lot tighter on this one. Looks like we added some material here that, you know, if we kicked that, it would come right off. Can't super see it when you're back, but <clears throat> make sure when we're adding that, that we're either getting to it a little quicker so it molds in or, or pressing it in nice with our trowel. Breaks at all the uh, starts, which is good. Usually we put a couple breaks in the corner. I've already talked about the ADA and sloping. It's good out here. <clears throat> Striping looks nice. Tiny bit of blue overspray, but hardly any. Lines are crisp. Wheel stops. Nice in line. Signs look good. Looks like we went to mount them in the asphalt and then after mounted them in the concrete just did two bolts on each hole and then we did this concrete also concrete looks really nice Some really good concrete curbing. <clears throat> and we got a ramp here. And the sidewalk ends. Down here. This is our other panel. Looks like we still have some curb to do out here. Wheel stops and signs look good. Nice sidewalks down to 
Mats connecting into the bricks nice. Once again, the cross hatch and striping looks really good. Some more overspray with the blue rattle cans. But it's like they put white underneath it and it looks really good on those handicaps. Still have some curb on this island to do over here and this island right here. And when we do that, <clears throat> Chad, let's get a little bit of connection in here where we did our sidewalk. Going back to curb. <clears throat> Corner looks nice hasn't been how we've been doing our other corners that I've seen here so far um, and then looks like we missed a little bit of bottom usually we cut that with the trowel pull it off I know we were hitting some of our better numbers that we've hit but we don't want to sacrifice our quality so So that first section that I was at over by that fire hydrant, the radius over there uh, on the south side of the building is the only area where I've seen that cracking. So where the mud <coughs> still looks kind of wet right now. Um, so I don't know if maybe there was too much water in it or why we weren't getting compaction, but um, all of this curb, I just walked it down section looks really good super consistent nice curb brakes with no they aren't pushed in too hard a little bit of cleanup we need in the corner there nice bull nose we didn't put our curb brakes into this corner or that corner so let's get our one foot brakes in there but I mean it just looks and feels really nice these straight stretches came out well looks like we bowed in just a hair here but like this is some really nice looking curb nice smooth finish Looks like they've done some restoration here already. We raked some of the beauty bark back. Still got a gap here though. And coming into this corner, one tiny fracture crack here. Only in the top, not really in the side. So we need to make sure we're working our corners in real well. No curb brakes in that hand build corner. Looks maybe a, hat, a hair low too. A little belly in it. But really nailing these straight stretches. I mean, you can tell it's, I don't know if it's the temperature difference between night and day right now, but I mean, it's cracking at our curb brakes where it's supposed to be cracking. So we just need to be super aware of our compaction. No curb brakes in that corner. Or that corner. This is a really nice radius right here. Slight, slight crack here. Slight one here. 
but those are small in comparison to those first section that I show. So a lot of the restoration's been done on this particular section that I just went over. We still need more. And then this is a good flush tie into the panel here. transitioning in. I like that they pulled that down. Makes it look really intentional. Good radius. We'll maybe put one more curb brake in there, but it's a nice tie-in. So, looking good. We got another Island here. Again, consistent radius. Really makes these look nice. Got some grass up in the island here that we can stuff back in when we do restoration. So, looking really good. We just gotta really be careful on our corners with the compaction. Asphalt and striping looks great and the concrete ramps look really nice too so this job's coming along um, we do have a decent amount of cleanup to do on the asphalt <clears throat> you know up on this concrete here from saw cutting and all the slurry so try and get some water on that maybe before we put a curb in and then it'll be easier on the restoration guy a little bit of a little bit of asphalt remaining in the lot where our trailers were for loading and unloading but this, this job's coming along nicely Alright, that's it.